Hello children, we are going to see part 2 of the freedom struggle. Next event is Lahore session which happened in the year 1929. Here, uh, every year the Congress has, uh, has, has, has a session and it will choose one place and it will have the session will happen in that place lot of uh, ideas and uh, discussions would be made in that session so it's an annual session during this Lahore session some of the things have been decided by Nehru because he is a head of that session each uh, session will be having different different president here Nehru has in on the keeping Nehru as leader Purna Swaraj was declared it means that complete independence people have started on agreed for a complete independence and their motto is to get independence from the British and they wanted free India and also a lot of decisions are taken in this Lahore session that 26th January would be celebrated as Independence Day every year and also civil disobedient movement will be launched in the year 1930. These things are uh, decided in the Lahore session. Same way civil disobedient movement would be the next movement launched by the Gandhi. He, he uh, called India and in the 1930 he launched civil disobedience movement in that during this time British has imposed salt law to the people. So to oppose that he created, he done Dandi March. It is very great impact in Indian history. It is otherwise called a salt march. Gandhi along with his thousands and thousands of disciples, he walked from Sagarali Ashram to Dandi on April 6th. He started with 78 followers and it ended with thousand and thousand followers. Law thousand and many people were present by British by for this activity and finally they made law. Next is Gandhi Irvin Pact 1931. British could not uh, ac accept all whatever Gandhi says, so Gandhi did not uh, attend the first round table conference. It was a great loss for British and they want they could not control the people even. So he, they wanted to please Gandhi and people so they called Gandhi for a speech that is called as Gandhi Irvin Pact. It happened in the year 1931. Irvin is that that day Governor General of India. So they both signed and uh, Gandhi agreed to take part in the second round table conference which is to be occurred in London. Next important event is Government of India 1935 Act which was launched by British, government, British Indian Government in the year 1935. It is a constitutional law and it has a lot of reforms. Here it is a good sign for Indians because more participation of Indians have taken place and also common election were, uh, have, were proposed and also it was conducted and this election was won by Congress that is Indian National Congress INC and they formed a government in six states it's a great victory for India next is uh, next great movement is Quit India movement after small small events Gandhi again started a big mass movement whenever Gandhi starts a movement it would be a mass movement where the people from farmer to rich merchant everybody every government official student everybody will take part in Gandhi's movement that is the speciality of the Gandhi's movement it will not be done with a small locality and it will not be done often also Gandhi takes part in India independence once in 10 years he resolve, he keep rest for 10 years for the people to set up and the spirit of the people has to get, get gathered so for that he will wait then he started uh, 19, 1942 quit India movement this was a very drastic movement by Gandhi he said that we hey people we should do or die it means that how st strengthened and how strong he is in this moment it shows that it continued till uh, we got independence. By this movement, also, Indian National Army proposal by Netaji Subhashantra Bose 
could not uh, make the British to control the people even more. So British came to the conclusion that we have to move out of the country and let the India free. So Indian National Army, if you see, it, it was started by Subhash Chandra Bose and uh, he is a great man and he he started this and Bidehidam art. It, was, it actually gathered a lot of soldiers from India and they uh, marched till Kohima. All of a sudden, uh, Netaji wants to go to Burma, Japan to collect the support from that country. By the way, a plane crashed and he was put to death and that uh, army was collapsed actually. But it gave the good result which ha happened to uh, make British to launch Indian Independence Act 1947. It states that India is going to be set free from the hands of British and uh, there was a partition even. That is the Mountbatten plan. The Mountbatten plan is dividing India into div India and Pakistan. Thereby on, on uh, 13th night Pakistan was set free and 14th night India was set free and both countries were divided and also got independence. Thereby India got independence and it was set free and the free India was very very ha having liberty to choose its own leader thereby Jawaharlal Nehru took that place and he became the first Prime Minister of Free India. That way we got independence. Stay happy children. Bye-bye.